the next step is going to be the seat tube. I've opted for a 31.6, so this is a mountain bike size seat post. A road bike will be a 27.2 and we make both of those sizes of inserts. So I'm going for the larger size because it's just going to make the frame a bit more rigid and obviously we've got larger diameter, diameters so it's going to be less flexible around the seat post area. So this insert I'm going to put inside of the bamboo like so and then I'm going to allow a long area here between the top of the seat post and the node and the benefit of that is that I can have more of the seat post inserted into the frame and then you've got less stress around the top of the frame here. So if you're doing your seat post at home you want to make sure the node is not too close because it might stop the seat post from going fully in. So I've checked that, I'm going to go over to my frame and then just mark this off at the middle of the bottom bracket. Take some masking tape again and where I've made the mark I'm going to mask this down. And again, I'm going to go back to my drawing and check. I'm going to offset the gap a little bit here so that I can wrap the seat post shim in fully. So I'll just make a mark here. And then that's ready to cut. So I'm going to set the tube cutter to zero, so it's the same flat angle as the down tube cut I made. And that's keeping it a perfectly square circular cut, so that when you pedal, this is all nice and square. So I'm going to line this up. I'm just going to have a look, I've got some features on the bamboo, so I'm just going to work out. I'm probably going to have that facing the back of the frame, so there's a little branch mark in here, which it's just naturally occurring on the bamboo. So that groove, I'm going to work to the back here. And then line this up to the mark. And then just tighten up the v clamp. Okay, so that is now perfectly flat cut through here. So the next step I'm going to do guys, I'm going to modify this to fit around the seat. My first job is I'm just going to put a glove on. Um, just if you're working at home you want to try and avoid getting chemicals on your skin. Obviously open your window, keep yourself ventilated, stay healthy um, and then we're simply just going to put a little bit of this degreaser on here and just clean all this off. Ideally you want a lint-free lint cloth so this blue roll isn't ideal but I'm going to use it for what I've got available at the moment. Just clean all of that out. Just to, just to take out any impurities, as I said, we're just going to hold this in place for now and then we're going to bond it a lot stronger later. So pop the lid on there, wait, uh, wait five minutes so that all the solvent can dissolve off before you mix any glue, okay? Okay, so my next stage is I'm going to glue in, so I'll pop my gloves on. I'll take this ET500, this is basically like an hour dye, a super glue, a fast set glue, so it's quick to work with, easy to mix up, it's got some structural strength but not a lot, um, 
but it's going to um, it's going to set, and then when once this is in, we'll bond this further. So give this a really good mix. When you're working with any two-part glues, if you don't mix them thoroughly, they won't react, and then they'll never glue. So try and mix this up well. So I'm going to put quite a bit inside of the bamboo just to then I'm going to feed this through I've got a slightly loose fit on this but because it's aluminium there's going to be some thermal expansion so I don't want the fit to be really really tight because it's likely to put pressure on the bamboo so then I'm just going to feed that through I'm going to leave this slot exposed and then allow that and I'm just going to test that on my frame just to see what height I allow for and just match that. I've exposed quite a lot of the steel here and the, um, rather the aluminium because I want to wrap this and create a lot of strength around this joint so I'm just going to position this here and then all I'm going to do guys is just lay that aside and let that dry and then I can get on with the rest of the build. So I'll get rid of all of this, try and work as tight as you can and I'll just let that set. I'm just going to demo the um, marking up. So what I would do is I would measure, I try to do at least kind of eight centimetres because you can then measure the length of the lug. You obviously want to reinforce around the join and then you want the flax to smooth out into the join. So I, I quite like a longer join. Um, and then obviously for the type of load we're going to put on this frame it will allow us to strengthen up the connection. So what I've done is I've marked eight centimeters here, and then I've got this pipe cutter. You can equally use a strip of tape. So I'm gonna try and create a nice clean line. So. Then once I've done that, I'm simply going to take a Stanley knife and just peel back, exposing the raw fibres underneath. Prepared all the bamboo and I can now tack it onto the 
jig and a tap will basically hold everything in place until I can use the resin and cloth to bind it in more permanently. So what I would do is I would just make sure that everything is degreased on your metals, so just make sure everything's clean. Um, check that your bamboo's good and then you want to clean down, so make sure you haven't got any mess so you're really organised because this bit can get a bit stressful. So I'm going to clear down and then I'm going to start to glue up. So get some gloves on. And again, I'm going to use the same uh, ET500, so this fast set glue. What is a good idea is to make sure that you've got some tape and also some electrical tape just to tape everything together while it dries. And then just mix yourself up a generous amount of this glue, fast set glue. Again, making sure that you mix this thoroughly. And all I'm going to do is just line the edges of the bamboo. So get some gloves on. I'm just going to be quite generous. And then this is going to go onto the down tube. And you want to just make sure that you're sitting nicely on the bottom bracket, nice and central. And I'm just going to tape this all together. And I'm just going to tape this, this all together. I quite like electrical tape because it's quite strong, tape. easy to remove. I quite like electrical tape because it's quite strong, easy to remove, quite useful. Okay guys, so thanks for tuning into this video. Just to summarise, I've finished all the front triangle now. So I've done all the mitering and I've prepped everything for gluing and now that is all tacked in place. So next week we're going to work on the lamination of the rear stays and have a look at dropouts. And then the final sessions will be where we create the flax lug. What I'm going to do is just cover up the bamboo so that it won't crack or anything else while I, I leave it. So that's just a tip. And if you didn't see the introduction video and so on, I talk more about the design, but just to run through it very briefly, we've got a long head tube here. I've extended these pieces here because the rack is going to connect on here. I've got a double top tube so that you can put storage through the middle. So if you want to store groceries or whatever quickly, if you're going somewhere, you can just drop them in and what I'm going to create a net around here. So that's basically everything tacked up. I'm going to leave it glue. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you've got any questions, please add a comment. And just to so sh show some support, do subscribe, do join the channel, do watch other videos. I really appreciate you giving up your time and taking an interest in what we do. And if you've got any questions or ideas, get in touch. Thank you very much.